may hear in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to celebrate Jesus Christ and uh, give the offers for us to this Holy Eucharist. Before we're able to see and receive our Lord, let us acknowledge our prayers and sins. As we all say together, I congratulate you, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters. Life as a ransom for many. 
Because I want you to know Jesus is going there as a new leader. The number of religions and that they were they were flowing there, and many of the people who also claimed that they were the Messiah because they were waiting for a Messiah, and many of them were there. Uh, so you see all different groups within the within the communities. Yet yeah? uh, there is that is why it's so important that Jesus confirmed to his disciples who he truly is, the Son of God. The ancient proclaimed by the, uh, by the prophets and the one who will save the world. So as we celebrate today uh, uh, this amazing proclamation of the Son of God, we also continue to, uh, to proclaim uh, the presence of God and the mystery of God proclaimed here and alive in this Holy Eucharist. May God be able to spark in our lives and in the life of every believer. Uh, the truthfulness uh, and the beauty of God and the mystery revealed in this Holy Eucharist. Amen? Amen. Amen. We stand. We pray for our church leaders. A special prayer goes to our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for our Bishop Barbarito. We pray for our wonderful pastor, Father Harris, uh, and all of us priests. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Special prayer goes to the uh, seminary, the professors, and the Vincentians, and all the students. Uh, and may we continue to follow the great example, the humility of St. Vincent de Paul. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the uh, holiness and the protection of marriage here in our country. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. If there are any going on in your life at this moment, I would like for you to bring it up to the Lord. Speak to God in this moment of silence. For your intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and with God, we present all our needs and the needs of a whole church, and we have to take it into the care of the only Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth the work of human hands will become to us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the one we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual journey. Blessed you, God, Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifices in your hands, so the grace and glory of His name, for our good and good of all the Church. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the Divine Mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have the mouth of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. As on the festival of St. Vincent, you bid your churches rejoice. So too, uh, so to you, strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by the word of preaching, and give her safe in answer to his prayer. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Thank you. 
shed upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and at the willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. It is the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gerald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially for whom we offer this Mass, Jean Sacro. And all who have died in mercy, welcome into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas More, St. Vincent the Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. And at the Savior's command, before by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
this way. Revealed by this heavenly sacrament, O oh Lord, we implore that just as we promptly prom prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son and his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Before I go, I just wanted to let you know that tomorrow we will have Mass on the ocean. So if you want to go to the beach with Father Harris and me, myself, uh, Mass will be at 9.30 a.m. For directions, you can go to the office and you can get directions how to get it. It'd be better if you go in groups, not one car, because I don't think there will be enough parking spots for us. But uh, you bring your own chairs or the, uh, any, anything else that you need, any snacks, and don't forget the breakfast for Father Harris and me. <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll, so we have the mass, and then after we go out on, on the ocean as a fish, so please uh, join us tomorrow. I believe that, that there are not more tickets for the dinner, cancer dinner. Uh, it's full already, uh, but anyhow, so if you want to, uh, uh, we have another dinner coming up, which is the preschool, the academy, and I would like for you to, of course, also to attend if you can. I'd like to give a special blessing to someone who's going to give birth today, where are you, the moment here. Okay. She's giving birth today at the Feast of St. Vincent the Ball. Come on. Bring your husband here. Come on. Come over here. You know, interestingly, the Pana. No, you stay here. The, you know, the, uh, the interesting thing is that. Uh, the father called me yesterday asking, Father, please bless my wife. She's going to give birth tomorrow. Uh -huh. So I said, I'm definitely I'll do it in front of the congregation. I would also like for you to join me by just uh, raising your hand to them. So can you face this way? Okay, very good. Like this way. Oh, and you're too close to me. A little bit more that way. <laughs> <laughs> my whole hand. That's good. Are you a little bit afraid now? No, not at all. You're not afraid. No. Are you afraid? Yes. You probably are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, to be okay. Look how many people are praying for you. Just look over there. Okay, so it's nothing to be afraid. So we're going to ask the Lord first of all that He may be able to send His holy angels to protect you and protect this amazing gift from God, your baby, your son the image of God. That as you go there, you may also may be able to be there, Lord, uh, with the doctors and nurses, and to, with the Father and the family who are excited um, about this amazing gift that is coming into this life. We ask the blessings upon you. Take away any fear, any fear. And we also ask, under the protection of the Blessed Mother Mary, that she also may be able to be with you uh, and give you uh, the graces the happiness and the joy that you will be able to receive as the day you come to this amazing world. We ask the blessing upon this couple, but especially upon the mother, Lord. She's the one who carried the heavy lift in here. Mm -hmm. And she will be able to, uh, to be able to have that peace and that joy that you offer to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen.